Today we're gonna do something different once again. In 2021, I showed my process of creating videos. However, that has changed. The way I make videos now is very, very different. Welcome to how to make the Brian videos video in 2023. So the video I'm gonna do today is gonna be the next video you're gonna see on this channel, which is going to be songs I hate. But I've only made a list of the songs. I haven't really made a script for the video. So let's go do that right now. So it takes me about an hour, but I stay here and write the script for the video before I film it. And then I step away from the computer so that I can clear my head. And sometimes I even come up with more ideas for the video. I just came up with an idea. So you might have noticed that the audio of my videos now is quite good. In this video, it might not be, but usually the audio is great. And that's because I use this microphone for all of the videos that I've made this year. And I know it sounds great. So it's usually plugged into my computer and I have to get it all the way over there. The cable is quite long, however, not long enough. So I take it off. Then I grab this tool and I attach the microphone to it. Then I position it where I need to have it. Now here comes the tricky part. So depending on where I'm at in the room, I either move my monitor or my computer. For example, if I'm standing there as the clone, I'll use my monitor and here I'll move my computer. Now I can talk in this microphone and film my video. Another essential, which is something I always do before I film videos, as a good luck thing, I always clean my glasses. Here's a quick compilation. There we go. So for my look, I will be wearing this, which is a Billie Eilish hoodie. And then I think I'm gonna wear gold like this. Then the clone is gonna wear this shirt, hair tied back or something. And probably like dark or silver rings, but I'm ready. And then I send myself the script to my own email. And now we just need the light. That's my setup. So let's start filming. Today we're gonna be talking about songs I hate. This is done. Now it's time to film the clone parts. So I did the main part of the clone where he's talking and at the end I usually just do some reaction shots. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a wrap. And then I save the audio recording that I just made and at the same time I take the memory card and I copy the files over. After this I just relax a bit, make sure all the files are in the correct places and then I can move on to editing. So. It's editing time and it's obviously the next day. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible, but here's how I edit. Make the project, import the files, put all the files into the sequence. Now this is what people will do at the end. But I prefer to do it at the beginning. Basically, I add the color to the video. So I do one for my part and one for the clone. Yeah, looks good. Just take a look at before and after. It looks so much better. And yes, this is not a film. However, I like to add something that makes it look a bit more cinematic. It's very subtle, but I add bars at the top and the bottom of the screen here. And then also, a vignette to make it just a little nicer. Now time for actual editing. I basically divide this in like three parts. First is cutting. I cut all the footage that I need so that I have it all in the timeline and put it in order. Second is adding music and little scaling like these type of scaling. And then finally, I rewatch the video about 10 times before I upload it so that I can make final changes. Before I do the cutting, one more thing. As I said, I record audio from this microphone, so I just have to sync it. And the way I do it is like this. Set. So in films, they do the clapper, right? I just use my hands. So I look for when I actually hit my hands together on the video, which is right there. I add the audio and we're looking for a spike here. Once I see that, I know that's when I hit the clap. Then I just sync it and I go way further down the video and I check if it's still in sync. And I'll see you next time on Things I Hate. All good. And now we can move on to cutting the video. We're nearly finished. That's it, piece finished. Look at all these cuts that I made. Now we just select all, close gap, and roughly it's around seven minutes. So this part of the edit is done. I just need to add music and stuff like that. Basically, this is what a timeline looks like after I've edited the full video. As you can see, there's a lot of editing. I'd say I spend at least five or six hours on every video, but I divide the time into like days. So I usually would spend about two hours a day on videos, but yeah, that's it. After the video's done, I watch it about 10 times. So if a sound is in the wrong place, there's an effect missing, whatever it is. I usually fix these issues the day before I upload and on that same day I make the thumbnail which always depends on the video some are simple some are more difficult this one's my favorite I just really like how it came out but after that the video is done the thumbnails done I can upload it and this is the most simple part I just write the title write the description add the thumbnail then since I upload every Tuesday I click schedule then we're gonna do it today and it's usually around 7 7 30 so I'm gonna put that and done that's it that's all I gotta do the last thing I'd say is I make a picture for social media which is usually like this and that's it this is my process of making videos in 2023 i hope you found this interesting and i'll see you next week with songs i hate